All right, so that's just a, a little uh, aside from our last video talking about financial accounting. Now we're gonna jump into a couple of techniques, the first of which is CVP, cost, volume, profit relationships, and it's also known as break-even. What this does is this simplifies financial analysis to show the relationships between the sales price of in a good, let's say, the cost, both variable and fixed, the sales volume, and the results in profits. So with just a few variables, you'll see that we can make some pretty powerful, if not decisions, powerful indications of the business and what the economics look like. And you don't need a master's degree to figure this out. And you say, wait a minute, why did I come to Hull? Well, what I'm gonna show you is that this is pretty intuitive and the work we do with it may be a little bit pushed further, but the core idea of profits is something you should be familiar with. So let's see if we could derive that formula, the profit formula together. So what we're gonna to try to do is derive the profit equation. And here's just a simple example, just to, it's often easier to do examples rather than some formula with variables. So let's say you're running a coffee shop and the price for a cup of coffee is $4. The variable cost per cup of coffee is a dollar quarter. And that's for the beans and the cup and the stir stick, etc. And the fixed cost is $10,000 per month. So we're gonna to go to the Excel sheet so we can now start weaving in a little Excel with our topic today. We see an Excel sheet with the exact same information, $4 a cup, dollar quarter of variable costs and 10,000 fixed costs. So if I were to ask you, how do you derive profit? You would probably know that pretty easily, right? You'd say, well, profit equals revenues minus costs, right? That's not too tough, right? Then you say, well, how would you characterize costs? And we sell, well, if we're a coffee shop, we have some variable costs, like the cups and the coffee beans, et cetera, but we also have fixed costs, like the rent and the salaries and the insurance. Those are fixed costs. So we have to somehow reflect both of those. So let, let's go through that math. So first is profit equals, and revenue is derived by the price of a cup of coffee times the quantity of coffee sold. So let's do that. So it's uh, $4 times the quantity, I'll just put Q for quantity. And what are our costs? Well, we have some costs that are variable costs at a dollar quarter times the quantity again, because the more coffee you sell, the higher your cost will be for coffee beans. And then from that, we also subtract the fixed cost, $10,000, right? So that's, that's it. Now notice that we have one variable on the right side, Q, and we have a measure of profit on the left. All right, let's start with break-even. Break-even is, is an easy to visualize point. And that point is where the profit equals zero, right? Break-even means that our revenue is just enough to cover our fixed and variable costs. All right, so that's all we need to do to get underway. So profit is zero at break-even equals uh, 4Q, I'll just start simplifying here, minus 1.2. 25Q minus $10,000, all right? We can combine terms. We see that uh, we have 4Q minus 1.25, so we could say zero equals, and the difference there is 2.75, 2.75Q minus 10,000. And so you should be home free now, being algebra experts, such that 10,000, equals 2.75Q. All right, now we can simplify and solve for Q. So Q equals 10,000 divided by 2.75. And what does that equal? Let's just put it over here. 10,000, 2.75. So that's 3,636 cups of coffee, right? So that's cups in a month. All right, so just to kind of um, visualize that. How much is that per day? So we say, well, it's 30 days. That's 121 cups a day. We're open for, let's say, 10 hours. 12 cups an hour, huh, okay, that's reasonable. Every five minutes I sell a cup of coffee, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. All right, I think we're all right, okay? But the main thing we've just done is derive the profit formula. So I'm gonna generalize it into a, a formula rather than cups of coffee. So profit equals the price times the quantity 
minus the variable cost times the quantity minus the fixed cost. Notice I didn't do anything. All I did was convert the dollar amounts into variables. So now we have a general use profit formula. All right. But you may notice that the quantities we could simplify. So another thing we could do is say, well, we can restate that as profit equals open parens price minus uh, the variable cost. That quantity times Q minus fixed cost. So both of these formulas work. Uh, the first is just the simple profit formula. The second combined terms and this particular format has this expression, the parentheses price minus variable, variable cost. And that is the unit contribution to profit, right? Or unit profit contribution. For every cup of coffee we sell, we earn $4 minus 1.25 or 275 toward covering our fixed costs and profit. So contribution means contribution to cover fixed costs and overhead. All right, hope that makes sense and go back to slides. So now we know how to do this. The profit equation is this. Profit equals price times quantity minus variable cost times quantity minus fixed costs, or we could restate it as price minus variable costs times quantity minus fixed costs. Then we can look at what's inside the expression, and that's price minus variable cost, which is the profit contribution per unit. You might say contribution to what? It's actually contribution to cover fixed costs and profit. So that's the amount that we earn from selling coffee. And then hopefully that amount is more than our fixed costs. And if it is, then we're making a profit. If it isn't, then we're losing money.